problem that for probably the past year that I don't know what I want to do as far as when as far as when I'm done with Cerritos if I just want to go and I, I just want to start shooting and start working at this or if I should continue to a four-year school uh, today I got to meet uh, John Honoré who's a cinematographer who shoots with his web camera and he went to Chapman University and that's where he said he learned all of his stuff and he's in, he said he started late, he started in his mid-20s. Uh, me personally, I, I'm, I think I'm ready to start filming right after community college and just go for it. What about compasses? The compass needle is always going to face north. It's always going to point north. So what you do when you get your compass out, your needle's facing north, turn your compass around to match the needle. And then you've got your uh, orientation for all your compass headings. Make sure you just have the, uh, the, the pointy end, the arrow end of the compass needle facing north. As a director or as a director of photography, you're going to want to know where the sun is in relation to that, to that uh, shot. So if I know that uh, this picture, I'm looking at a wide shot of the plaza and the intersection, and now I'm looking north. I know the sun's going to be behind me for most of the day. In the morning, it's going to be over here. Late afternoon, it's going to be over here. I might not know about you know shadow caused by buildings and things like that, but I know where the light is. If I'm if I'm facing south, I know I'm going to be backlit all day. Really important because the shot will look completely different lit, you know, from different directions. The location will look completely different. So that's what compass setting is all about. It's for light. I have this camera which I thank my parents every day or every time that I shoot. I feel that I could do so many great things with it when it's in my hands. And I've done other jobs. I grew up working at a body shop with my dad, helping him out. I hated it. I worked at a restaurant, a fast food restaurant. I hate it. I mean, I come to school, I take classes. I'm not a big fan of it, but when I'm filming, doesn't matter what it is, I'm just happy. It could be just me holding the camera and pointing it at somebody's face. And I enjoy it because I see that as a challenge and how I can make it better. When am I supposed to zoom in on the person's face to capture that emotion? When I'm supposed to pull back to show more? It's just, I have infinite power when I have one of these in my hand. Since I've had the camera, I had one experience that blew me away. Like I think it's like one of the one of the things that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I guess when I got to meet um, Haskell Wexler, and I asked him if he could please sign the camera for me. And I remember when he signed it. Before he signed it, he says he said if, if I'm gonna sign this camera. It's because you're going to do great things with it. And I feel that he said that to challenge me. And I'm, to me, I'm going to take that to heart. And I think about it from, from that moment when he said it to now and everything that I shot, I always remember those words. I have to some, do something great with it. I can't just shoot whatever. I can't just half-ass something. I have to put my heart into every shot that I take because every shot means something and it's my job it's my job as a person holding this camera to be able to tell a story um, My name is Dustin Ong I'm a student in Serious College At first I wasn't really sure if I want to be director, cinematographer or editor but um, for the past few questions. months, I've just been trying to get myself out there and just trying to do as much projects as I can. And knowing my own personality, I can kind of scratch out being a director because unless if I have a really good AD, I kind of enjoy being on set more now than being an editor. So right now I'm kind of leading more towards cinematography or even gaffer. Um, my, my mom and my dad, um, they're pretty proud of me. They've been 
more supportive recently because uh, when I started going to college, um, my my dad my dad wanted to be a doctor when he was young, and then when uh, his dad passed away, he had to start working, and he never got to do his dream to be a doctor. That's why he kept pushing me and my brothers to be nurses. But then we just kind of the more he pushed, the more we turned away. And he always says there's money in the medical field, but we ended up me in film and then my other brother in photography. I don't, I guess um, just money-wise, it's something that I kind of struggle with just as a college student. Not that my parents don't support me that way, but um, like it took me a while to save up for an iMac and I got that. Um, especially because I just work a couple hours um, and that's also how my parents support me because they don't, you know, make me or or have that need to work for extra money. They just want me to concentrate on my studies first. So they allow that, but um, yeah, so just money-wise probably so that I can get the software and hardware to get the experience. I think it's one of my obstacles. This list of who's coming in is of no real value unless you have a what? Breakdown of what they're reading for, a breakdown of the storyline and material, and an idea how many days these folks are going to work. In addition to how much money it's going to cost you, and that cost you, to hire these folks. All right? Now. I feel like I fit right in. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Maybe because I grew up with a lot of boys. But um, I do kind of wish that there was more girls so that I can relate a little better. But um, I don't think it's a big deal. Plus, I think it's experience for me to when I do go out there. You know, it's probably going to be more guys than girls. Actually, I remember having a conversation with my parents when I finally decided what major I was going to pursue. And that was something that I told them. I was trying to win them over so they were okay, you know, with me pursuing the film industry. But um, I told them that I just wanted to go to a job where every day I would go and I'll actually feel happy to do it. You know, not something that I would dread. So I knew they were going to, like, ask me, you know, like, how much money is it and is it stable? And I probably wouldn't be the best, uh, at least starting. Um, but, but that's something that I would want to do something that I like so that's that's very important to me like just going on my job every day and making it something that I want or I need I think he wrote Haskell and then he wrote uh, W because it didn't fit and I remember when I was taking a picture with him I had the camera but I, ha I was really nervous because I was next to him and I was gonna take a picture so I had it like this and I was shaking and when I was shaking, I was wearing a, a jacket and my zipper actually uh, rubbed up against the, the signature and smushed it a bit. And I was thinking at first of cleaning that off and just leaving the house part, but I just left it there because I think it makes it, I don't know, it makes it look more, I don't know, like more real. It has a, it has a story now to it. It's not just a, a signature. It has a, I have a story to tell behind the signature. And that's why I didn't clean that off. It's your baby, huh? That's yeah, my baby. I love it. I love it to death.